What's going on, Cougar fans? Peter Borkowski here on the Cougar Sports Network bringing you this edition of Coaches Weekly. Once again, joined by head coach of women's volleyball here at CC, Coach Campbell. Welcome back to the show. Excited to talk to you today, Coach. All right, I'm ready to go. Well, it was a good weekend for you and your team. Picked up two conference wins on the road, nonetheless. Friday, you're at MSOE, picked up the win there. And then Saturday, picked up the win at WLC. And they were good wins, too. Three to one match wins on both days. So maybe just start off talking about what your team did so well, what led them to those wins and, you know, on the road against conference opponents, which is always a tough task. Oh, always a tough task. I think uh, no matter who you're playing, it just doesn't matter. Everybody brings it at home and uh, MSOE and WLC obviously did that. But I think that our overall team game was really fantastic. I think our support of one another and working out problems and making sure that we're uh, focusing on the right things mm -hmm. for us. Uh, and focusing on our game and not necessarily trying to extend ourselves to do something else. Like, we don't have to do that. We just have to play within ourselves, play the game that we know we can be successful with. Mm -hmm. And everybody did that. And I think it was a good, solid, all the way across the board team win. Right. And we didn't need uh, some outstanding performance from Grace, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get it done. It was just everybody carrying the load right. and it was so much easier to do it in that fashion and, and everybody stepped up this weekend to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, and a big reason that, you know, your team has been so well-rounded this year is because of this freshman class who I've wanted to talk about for a couple weeks now. And, you know, we're seeing a lot of them get regular minutes and time in the rotation. Players like Michaela Levoy, uh, Lily Hunt, Kate Foley and Brooke Christensen are playing a really big part on this team and it not only says something about them as freshmen that they're able to come in in their first year and have an immediate impact at the collegiate level but it says a lot about you as coach that you have faith in them to do that as well despite their overall inexperience at the college level of play and the good thing is too that ideally these players are going to be around for you know three more years so you're going to have a chance to grow with them even though they're already quite good players. Yeah I think that uh, their impact on our team has been fantastic I think on and off the court they've been really uh, solid additions to what we're doing and it's not easy right yeah. you come in and there's not a lot of time to get to know the offense or the defense and what we need to do so it's really what you do intrinsically what you're you're capable of doing right now that matters and all of them have done an incredible job of mm -hmm. just coming in and uh, taking up their role doing what the things in which they are asked to do yeah. and making sure that um, they're productive members of the team. And right. It's been fantastic, especially the middles. The middles have had the most impact. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Brooke and Kate have also had their time uh, out there, but I think the middles are doing yeah. a pretty fantastic job. Middle at the collegiate level is a complex position. Okay. It, there's a lot of things that you need to pay attention to mm -hmm. and things that you either do or don't know at this time time that you need to work on you know all of that but they know yeah and they're making great moves and everything that we're able to tell them and and um, MSOE is a great example like they were scoring in the middle mm. and we made an adjustment mm -hmm. and we shut down what they were doing yeah I mean it's it was kind of incredible that they were able to do that right away and you see the understanding in their face when you're speaking to mm -hmm. them that Hey, yeah, they really do get it. And they're they trying to learn they, as well. Exactly. They know exactly what they need to do and how they need to do it, and they're out there doing it. Right. And all of those things in coordination are really tough. Mm -hmm. So I'm really proud of all of them for uh, coming out and doing as well as they have. Right. Well, it's kind of hard to believe, but the end of the season is already in sight. You got Benedictine coming to River Forest tonight, and then you have Alverno. Edgewood and Rockford to end the year off and looking at these teams of course all conference games are hard games but they're all kind of in the same breath of the Cougars at least rankings wise so between that between the momentum you have from a very good past weekend it feels like the team's in a really good place to finish out the year strong so how do they do that how do, what does this team need to do to make sure they cross the finish line in a successful manner well I think that um, you know of course success for us would be making the playoff right which is still we're still in the running right that's and the end goal that's the end goal yeah but i think the real end goal is just for us to get out there and play as a team mm -hmm. and have fun and work hard play the way that we want to play and then the chips fall as they may okay and i think that um as long as we're doing that mm -hmm. we have a fantastic opportunity mm -hmm. if we start to change things about that 
mm -hmm. then we have an issue. Right. Uh, when we start to change focus on, let's say, we woke up today and we're nervous about potentially losing this match. Right. Well, that isn't doing us any good uh, to accomplish our goal. Mm -hmm. And I think there's several ways in which we can do that within the game that matter too. The way that we speak to ourselves about um, mistakes or right. the way that we're interacting as a team. All of those things just have to be tailored towards us having the best possible result. Yeah. And I think that we've proven that in any single game we can play with whatever team's out there. Yeah. So I don't think we have anything in that respect to uh, be worried about. I think we just need to come in, relax, and play our game, and we'll get it worked out. Mm -hmm. so. Well, the end is in sight. It begins tonight here in River Forest when the Cougars welcome the Eagles of Benedictine University. The first serve is at 7 p.m. Coverage can be found on our website, cucougars.com. The live stream can be found on our YouTube page, CUC Sports. Coach Campbell, good luck tonight and on the rest of the year. We'll have another chance to talk in about a week or so. But until then, this is Peter Borkowski signing off of the Cougar Sports Network and winning to say, as always, go Cougars!